Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Zawal Mehta, and today we are going to understand how to run linear regression analysis in RapidMind. The first question is when we should run linear regression analysis. When you are having one dependent variable and there are many independent variables, then you should go for linear regression analysis. The second thing is that the dependent variable is running in the continuous scale. The example of this is weight and blood pressure. And the second thing which we have to remember is all the independent variables are also running in the continuous scale. The basic assumption here is that the relationship between the dependent variable and independent variable is linear. Now how we can run this analysis in rapid minor? Let us see. So for this, I will have to go in the process area. First of all, I will import the data. So I'll go in local repository. I'll bring my data file here, that is empty cars. I'll drag it and drop it here. Once you connect this, it will show you the data set. Press the play button. So in this, you can see that there is a model of the car, miles per gallon, number of cylinder, displacement of the vehicle, horsepower of the vehicle, displacement rate, weight of the vehicle, Q set. VS is vertical or a straight engine, AM is automatic or manual, gear is number of gears, number of carburetors. We will again go back in design. Now it is not mandatory to select all the variables and therefore we want to select only particular variables that are matter of our interest. For this I will go in the operator and I will write down select attributes. I'll drag it and drop it here. I can do the single selection from here or I can subset also. So I'll activate the subset menu. Select it. Now I'll select only those variables which are matter of my interest. So I want to say horsepower, weight of the vehicle and the miles per gallon are the variables in which I am interested. Now I'll press apply. Then I will have to specify the role, the role in the sense that which variable will be the dependent variable and which are the independent variables. I'll again go in operator menu and I'll write down, write down here set the role. I'll drop it here. Make sure that the operator Set rule operator is on. I'm selecting MPG as my dependent variable and make sure to label. That is the target rule should be labeled. Then only it will work as a dependent variable. Now I'll move ahead again in the operator menu. And this time I'll be writing here linear regression. I'll select this operator and drag it here. Now, simply, I'll press the play button. The results are ready. You can see here, horsepower, weight. The first thing which we have to understand here is the p-value. All those variables whose p-value is less than 0 0.05, it means that they are significant at 5% level of significance, are the matter of my interest. It means that these variables are significantly influencing the miles per gallon, the mileage of the vehicle. What this code denotes? This code denotes that they are significant. So if, if, this code, if there are four stars, highly significant, three stars, significant, one star, still significant. So depending upon the number of stars, how much significant they are, more stars, more significant. Now those variables which are not significant here will not be displayed only. It will not be displayed. But if you want to see that which are those variables which are insignificant, I'll again go in design, I'll go in linear regression, and from here I will activate none. I'll run here. Let me go back here. Okay, I have not selected any other variables and therefore it's not displaying. But let me see. I am selecting one more variable from here. I will activate the select attribute operator. I'll transfer the gear. 
apply run and you can see here that now the gear is displayed but it is not significant so from this menu i can get the uh, which variables are significant or which variables are insignificant next i'll have to proceed to the description menu In description menu it will also generate the results of insignificant variable i want to avoid this how i can do so i'll go in design activate the linear regression and this time normally you should go for t test run the t test you can see here the insignificant variables have been dropped by the algorithm click on description and you can see here the equation is ready now what does this mean let us try to understand I will copy this result from here to the world file. Let's try to understand. The miles per gallon MPG was our dependent variable. Horsepower is having the negative coefficient as well as the weight is having the negative coefficient. And the constant intercept is 37.227. Now here, why the intercept is always there in any linear regression analysis is because irrespective of independent variables like weight and horsepower there is a constant miles per gallon which is not going to be affected by any independent variable and that is 37.227 now with every increase in weight of by one unit your miles per gallon will drop by minus 3.8.78 with every increase in horsepower by one unit your miles per gallon will drop by minus 0.032 so we can see that there is a negative relationship between the weight and miles per gallon. This is, we have seen in practical also, as the weight increases, the mileage of the vehicle decreases. Similarly is the case with the horsepower. So this gives us the linear regression. And, it, and you can copy this from description directly. Now, I want to see how my model is performing. And there are measures to evaluate that how the model is performing. And these measures are R square. So I'll go in design. I'll again go in the operator menu. I'll write down apply the model. I'll pick up the things from here. Drop it here. I'll disconnect this spline. I'll connect this spline. Now, I'll activate the performance menu. Make sure that the performance, there are many types of performance measures in rapid finder, like classification, binomial classification, regression. So please pick up the regression performance. Now, you will have to connect apply model lab with lab, that is a labeled with labeled. Then you will connect the performance with the result panel. Then you will connect the model with the result. Click on the performance menu. Root mean squared error will, error will be uh, default activated. But one more tick is necessary and that is a squared correlation. Basically, this is an R squared coefficient of determination. That is the explanatory power of the model. In other words, how much independent variables are able to explain variance in the dependent variable run it you go in performance factor root mean square error 2.469 it is very less it's really good squared correlation 0.827 it means that the model is having an explanatory power of 82.7 percent which is considered to be quite good For more videos on Rapid Miner, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to press the like button. Thank you.